Hey, Ranger Nation. Um, I recently got my uh, set of the Dino Fury uh, Rangers Megazord. Uh, Box-wise, it's reading uh, Zord length and, and then uh, Power Rangers Dino Fury on it. I'm not really sure how to string that together. Um, funny enough, I got this uh, last Friday right before I was leaving for the weekend, which I was happy about so that it didn't sit on my doorstep. Um, for the entire weekend, uh, since I wasn't expecting it until August, it, it came early, fortunately for me. Uh, but then I, I also was stuck thinking about this all weekend, uh, finally getting around to it. So, um, yeah, I just want to give a, a quick first impression of the individual Zords, and then on another video I will tackle the many different Zord combinations, because it looks like there's a, a good amount to this one. Um, so yeah, there's the, the front of it. Uh, side view real fast. There is the back of it featuring uh, several of the Zord combinations. And for good measure, let's see the end of it here. Okay, let's open this up. Alright, so upon opening it up, this is the view I get. Um, the Zords laid out uh, about there, several of their components. The knight heads, um, not sure if that qualifies as the statues or keys. To be honest, even after going through the all the episodes available to me, yeah, I'm still not sure quite how that works. And then over here we have uh, the instruction book that for the various combinations. So after looking at it for a moment, it looks like these are the primary pieces for the uh, Tyrannosaurus Zord. Um, on top of that, there's also removable pieces on the side. Um, let's see, right there we are, right here and here. I know they're removable because one popped off when I was playing around with it. Um, so yeah, a lot of options already on just the first sword. Alright, so for the Triceratops, it came with four pieces. One, two, three, four. These two seem to be extra and will come into play later in the transformation. Uh, for the Triceratops, there's a little articulation of the head, but, uh, nothing as far as, uh, feet, unless there's a part that I've missed in the box. I also think it's it's interesting to note how bendable and soft these portions are. The Stegosaurus doesn't seem to have uh, much individual movement. The uh, head doesn't really go anywhere, and there's no wheels or individually moving legs there. So it uh, appears to just be something that looks good. So on the favor to tiger, I'm not sure what this piece uh, does or attaches to, but for the tiger itself, I'm pretty happy with the way it moves around. The, the head uh, is articulate, the legs also move. Oop, moved it too much there. Um, looks like it could actually, you know, sprint out if I was to move them and do some kind of stop gap <laughs> animation on it. I'm actually not sure if the tail is supposed to be up or down, but thanks to the way that it's rigged, you can attach it either way. Uh, so it's nice to have the option. Uh, putting aside the question of how to attach the skirt piece to the saber-toothed tiger, assuming it can be done, um, we'll look at the ankylosaurus. Uh, it has a little bit of articulation in the head and it does spin its uh, back tail around. I, I don't know of what use that would be individually. Um, it also has these two extra pieces that this could either be kept on the side or could be attached in different ways to the top. Uh, this would work, probably. Or perhaps like this. I, Let's see, yeah, that attaches, and this attaches, so 
That's a cool thing about this rig, I guess, is it gives you a lot of options on how to attach things. I imagine you could even attach them to the um, tail part, making it more effective. Although if it was only spinning this way, it would kind of make it jump. Uh, but yeah, um, I can see a kid playing with this would really enjoy the extra options there. So uh, barring the uh, head pieces and the arm pieces that you saw in the box in the beginning of the video, that is all the individual pieces here, all the, all the zords. Um, I will do a separate video on how to transform them into various combinations. But yes, yeah, so far I am uh, pleasantly surprised by this. I, I was a little unsure about what kind of looked kind of gimmicky with the almost Lego-like connections, but uh, after seeing it, I realized that it gives a lot of different options that I think kids would really enjoy. Um, the box is the, long, the biggest that I've ever seen, and probably the most conveniently packed. Uh, I, I really enjoyed not having to struggle and cut things open to get the pieces out. So, yeah, so far I recommend this one. Alright, see you in the next video.